Um, you know, EGFR mutations were discovered 10 years ago, 2004, and of course now it's, it's quite common for physicians and patients to be aware of these and to know to use targeted therapies for EGFR, but that took quite a few years for that to happen, for EGFR to become established as a target and one for which oncologists would routinely prescribe an EGFR inhibitor. So patients who have these specific activating EGFR mutations, um, their best therapy in the first line setting, it has already been shown to be these targeted therapies, these targeted therapy pills that can target EGFR specifically. And there's various different drugs being developed in each mutation space. So pay for patients who have an EGFR mutation positive tumor, who have been on an EGFR uh, TKI inhibitor, um, different drugs are being developed specifically for those common ways tumors can become resistant, such as T790 mutation, which is one of the most common way a tumor becomes resistant to an EGFR inhibitor. And more and more research and evaluation is being done to figure out how these tumors become resistant. And again, drugs are being developed to hit those ways of that the tumors actually get around a particular drug that they're on. It's the EGFR uh, resistance that occurs, particularly with the T790 mutation. If a T790 mutation is found, the thought is that you would completely change drugs into a drug that specifically targets the T790. Now, most of those drugs also target uh, the typical EGFR mutation as well, so you're hitting both at the same time an EGFR mutant tumor becomes resistant and those other ways may require continuing to keep the, that EGFR mutation tyrosine kinase inhibitor on and then adding a new drug to it to be able to hit the pathway that is upregulated in that particular tumor.